Hi guys! Well, today I'm gonna make a video about how to make a folding box saw. So, perhaps some of you have seen it on my Facebook page, but we're going to do the process of making a smaller version of the first one. So guys, stay tuned! So guys, finally a project that is made indoors to be used outdoors. Uh, first, I want to apologize, I'm all sweaty and uh, I'm not saying that it's hot in here, but just two hobbits went in my place, threw a ring at me and uh, went away. So, I don't know what's happening in here, but... Uh, whoa! Okay. Whoa! That was fun, so guys, okay, enough kidding. Uh, nah, this ring doesn't, really, doesn't work that way, or I wouldn't have needed uh, a ghillie suit to hide in the woods. So guys, now, what I needed for my first one was some gear that is here and some gear that is in my bunker, how I call it, it's my workshop, and I needed a tube. I don't have the measurements because I went to the shop picked up the saw blade I wanted to use and just checked that it should fit inside. This is pretty much all I, I did and that length was, uh, was superior to the length of the saw blade. So this is about it. Uh, I think there are so many blade sizes that uh, you gotta check it. and. Uh, see what what works for yours. Actually I'm gonna make two of these. Uh, one is a gift to a friend of mine for his birthday and uh, I wanted to have a shorter one for um, my personal use and also for um, my survival classes because I have a lot of Felco 600 hand saws but I wanted to show them how to properly use um, uh, box saw or framed saw and uh, yeah this is pretty much all um, not all you need but uh, all I wanted to say also to tighten it I've decided to go uh, through uh, to with um, uh, yeah uh, <laughs> now I forget the name this is horrible it's um, stainless steel uh, threaded uh, bar that is also longer than the saw blade. Everything is one meter long in here. And something to make the crossbar, which is aluminum, sturdy enough, uh, and also longer than the blade itself. So I picked and I forgot one. <laughs> I think it may work with one for both saws. Um, for this, the diameter uh, had to go inside the tube, so I also tested it here. This is uh, the inside diameter is one centimeter. It's twelve uh, millimeter on the outside, and other than that, you will need bolts and uh, wing nuts. And uh, yeah, this is pretty pretty much all. It's very uh, a very simple process. What I will use in here is uh, um, a ruler, uh, a measuring tape, this is the one I use for tracking, and also to be sure my lines are straight, I will use a U profile in aluminum, which actually allows me to have a straight line on the whole thing to be sure all my holes are aligned. So first thing I'm gonna do is align everything I don't mean all the length, I know I want perfect in here so here I'm straight I'm gonna do that on both tubes just to be quick on the process you will see it's not a very long thing to do last one I did like 17 minutes to build it and I will of course um, short, uh, shorten the video on only the most important parts. So now the holes. 
Now that I have my center line, what I want to know is what is the length of the saw blade. Here it's 53 centimeters, so my end piece will be at least that. I will probably make it just 54 centimeters long just because when I cut stuff I will have I will lose a bit bit of length and you know always better to have more length than not enough so 54 here divided by 2 it's 27 so I have marked the middle I will use a tube cutter for this one. I will try to make all the designs before everything I need so that then I can go to my uh, bunker and just do the rest of the stuff. See here I'm glad I don't yeah, I wouldn't have had enough stuff. So the last last thing I will cut is this and I will cut it more uh, a bit longer than the other one. I will also use nail polish to secure the screws that shouldn't move and the wing nuts as I've said. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decide that the bottom extremities will be here and here so I'm gonna make a one centimeter mark for the blade it should be enough Okay, let's say one and a half just to be sure. <clears throat> and this will be the slit I will make only in one side. Same in here, so you see actually twice in a row. I'm sorry about that, but I may cut that in the editing process. Okay, so now the frame will be. I'm guessing I will put that. I eyeball pretty much everything of it. It's 20. Uh, seven centimeters long so I want to have enough room let's say if I put it at 10 I can already cut interesting logs twenty five and a half I'm gonna put it at nine at nine centimeters Let's say 10 for ease. Okay, and this hole will not go through. As I've said, I will eyeball it pretty much and uh, hope that every, everything goes for the best. It worked perfectly on the first time, so 10 centimeters from the top and 10 again. With the cross will be the big bigger hole, 12 millimeters. And now the only thing I need is the hole that will be. I will put two different sizes on the the top hole. The one that is on the side of the slit will be bigger, just because when the handles arc they will be closer and so I don't want my threaded thing to go uh, to bend that way so 
for that I will have a uh, yeah I think it can be pretty close to the top so one centimeter will be perfect basically you do the same on both uh, handles I hope I will remember what everything is but I'm pretty sure I will okay now that I have everything on that I will take care of I don't use multicam for this project um, what you have to consider when cutting the um, crossbar is that you will have bolts on the extremities of this one so you want to still be able to pack everything inside the tube it's that main interest so I will make the crossbar a bit shorter than the two holes there are 48 Point five apart. No, almost fifty apart. So I will cut a piece that is forty nine point five centimeters. Forty nine point four five centimeters. Okay, forty nine five. And we'll do that on the other side. So 49. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my tube cutter and cut everything to the right length. I think this will be perfect. Now cutting the big mama. I will not show you the whole process for all the tubes because it's all the same but basically this one I will try to be more as precise as possible here and try not to raise my other marks I will probably be able to build another huge model. The huge model is 72 centimeters when folded, so it's huge and it holds very well. I will perhaps show you the thing when I have finished everything, but here I still have all my marks going for the rest. So, see you in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna start by cutting the slit I'm gonna use a power tool just to be a bit quicker on the process and of course you can do that with a handsaw it will work perfectly fine I was just using the only part in here that I have no teeth anymore, so that's why it sucked a bit.
just a quick check. Okay, fits. The blade fits perfectly in. So I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, so now I'm using a stage drill, and as you can see, I have put some marking, masking, ta some um, duct tape, just to be sure I can see where I am um, going and not drill it too big. So basically, I'm. I should have pre-drilled it, but I'm gonna go right through like so, just because I want to make it quick. So, if I don't plug the machine, it won't work properly, that's for sure. I don't do it as good as when I take the time to but here basically it is it fits well in all the holes now what I gotta do is drill here a small five millimeter uh, hole through and then I will make a bit bigger hole on the upper side so this allows to reduce the bend in the piece, so I'm gonna skip the tool and get back at you. Okay, so now I'm just gonna open up the holes only on the inside. Okay, so now I'm just removing some of the burrs. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut the threaded bar one centimeter, about one. Yeah, the thickness of my index finger, as you can see here. And I will cut here with the saw. Okay, so now I'm just going to be cleaning the end of the threaded bar. Okay, so now I have all my bolts and nuts. It's M5 I need. So I will use one for one end of the bar. Perhaps I will maybe add a washer. I'm not sure I have 
enough washers left of the right size. Nope. Nothing suitable here, but I will add it in the future just because it will be a bit small. For now, for this video, I'm going to use two wing nuts, one on each end of the bar. And then I will permanently or semi permanently fix one and using this very ugly nade polish I've got from uh, yeah you probably don't care how I got that now you need four washer uh, four nuts and bolts I'm taking M5 in here and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna thread screw them here and add some nail polish at the base just so that it won't unscrew on me. Now that is some very nice job. I'm not making something really pretty in here, just want to make sure yeah, I can say it's pretty because I use very nice nail polish. But, yeah, it's not. So, I could use two nice keys, but these, I don't care if I fuck them up. I will never remove them from the saw blade unless I have to remove the saw blade itself because it's uh, broken or too old or you know I need to replace it so just adding some in here it will help not to move I don't have Loctite anymore I, at least I have some and not super glue I could have used super glue, super glue to hold that in place but you know from time to time I will check anyway if it's uh, it's working or not if it's holding enough so here let's tighten it like hell you can go really strong in here that's not a problem now for the blade going for the second one okay last step I have to cut down all four bolts Okay, so now I'm done with the bolts. I have to just deburr the ends of the tube to make sure it fits right in. Good enough. Same here. Okay guys, so, well, here is the saw. It's stable. It doesn't budge much at all. And here is the saw folded. So of course I could have done everything better. Uh, by making pre-holes and doing everything by the books but I wanted to do it as fast as possible and it took me less than an hour also uh, be careful not to, sh to cut the two ends of the threaded bar too short because here uh, it's just a little bit short to add end caps but I will correct that easily and uh, I will add some, uh, I don't know, a piece of uh, washer uh, or wood or something like that. And finally I will make uh, leather handles, but 
this will not be shown in that video. So here you are, you have a pretty, pretty decent saw for less than 38 Swiss francs, 30 dollars about, and uh, easy to make, easy to, uh, to use in the woods and everything. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you and hope you liked the video. Sorry, I did everything in a hurry, in a huge rush, and I, my time is running out right now, so I gotta go. But if you have any questions about that, um, don't hesitate to ask me, and uh, well, we'll see everything else in the, in the very near future, guys. So, thanks for watching, and see you soon.